Well, there's a German origin of life researcher named uh, Bernd Olaf Kuppers, and uh, he says that, that the origin of life is basically now, the problem of the origin of life is basically equivalent to the problem of the origin of biological information. And that makes sense, because if you want to explain how life arose, what you need to do is explain the features that life now has. And in 1953, when Watson and Crick elucidated the structure of the DNA molecule, they showed it had this beautiful hel helical structure, but they also um, showed that the structure of the molecule allowed it to store information in a digital form. And in 1957, uh, Crick proposed uh, something called the sequence hypothesis. And according to the sequence hypothesis, the chemicals along the spine of the DNA molecule, the chemicals that are called bases, and there are four of them, the chemists represent the letters A, T, G, and C. Now, according to Crick's sequence hypothesis, these chemicals function just like alphabetic letters in a written text or like digital characters in a machine code. A and that is to say that depending on how they're arranged and sequenced, these chemicals will convey instructions for building the proteins and protein machines that the cell needs to stay alive. So you've got two key features of living systems. Uh, one, are, one set of features has to do with the, the proteins and protein machines. They're basically all the tools that the cell needs to accomplish all the jobs. They perform all the functions in the cell. In, they, they perform, uh, they're involved in metabolism, they, uh, they build uh, structures and machines, they process information, they, they catalyze uh, chemical reactions. But to build those proteins, they're, they're kind of the workhorses in the cell, you need to build, you, you, you need instructions, and those instructions are stored on the DNA molecule. And so Watson or, and Quick were first to, to kind of get onto this. Crick in particular had this idea that the chemicals along the spine of the DNA molecule are storing the information, the instructions for building those proteins and protein machines. And so if you're thinking about, you know, the central features of life, Certainly, DNA and the proteins that it, that it builds are, 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 are right at the, the forefront of your attention as a biologist. And so if you're going to explain the origin of life, you've got to explain that. You've got to explain how the DNA and what's called the gene expression system arose. So as I looked at the problem of the origin of life, I really zeroed in and focused on those two topics and said, okay, what best explains the origin of the, digi the digital information that's in the DNA and what best explains the whole information processing system of the cell that, that takes that information and expresses it and uses it to build, to build the proteins and protein machines. So that, that's what really the, the, the book is about.